My name is Robert Elhai, and I composed and arranged the music to Little Women. No, it's not. I have actually written music for plays going back to my college days. Uh, I, I mean, I tend to do more work in musicals than, you know, stage plays. I bring my interests and I bring my, uh, I bring my experience you know, to both kinds of projects. And I just, you know, I just think of it as theater. We talked about musical ideas for, from the beginning, you know, for some places. For example, one of the things we talked about from the beginning was underscoring these little theatricals that Joe puts on. Um, so I had some idea of what that music would be under that, but I didn't actually come up with it until we actually were rehearsing it. And, and a lot of the music I, that I came up with was actually just sort of come up with in rehearsal as opposed to going away and writing it and bringing it in. Some of the stuff was, was like the opening music was music that I wrote and then brought in. Uh, but, um, but other music stuff was just sort of improvised during course of rehearsal, which is a, a great, a, it's a way that I like to work when I'm doing musicals as well. How music is used, you know, not just for transitions, but also, you know, it, do, we, do we use it as underscore, do we use it as, um, <clears throat> you know, do we have any singing, and if we, do we accompany the singing, and, you know, all of that kind of thing is, is, is all very interesting. There was a real cinematic approach to this piece, and I found myself drawing on my experience of doing film scoring as well in terms of how music interacts with spoken words and how music is used, especially because so much of the music ended up being recorded instead of played live. Um, you know, that was an interesting thing to sort of, uh, it, was, it was useful to pull that experience. That was me, I think. But I was, one of the things I did think about, I remember thinking about is what music can we use sort of as a general kind of uh, touchstone for the period. And Stephen Foster was very popular in the Civil War. And so it made sense that, that, would, that that's music that not only would be recognizable to people, um, but also is sort of historically accurate as well. But it's not the sort of, I, what I wanted to avoid was the Ken Burns, Civil War, Ashok Ken, Farewell kind of thing, you know. I wanted to find a way to, to, do, to do it in a way that, that, you know, find different music than he used. And so Jimmy Foster was, was perfect for that. And then Beautiful Dreamer just, you know, it's, it's so appropriate to the play. I would say this is not like, this is not your grandmother's Little Women. Even though this, it's set during the Civil War, it's a very modern and, to my mind, unsentimental take on, on the story. You know, and it's not a costume drama the way that Little Women often is staged. Uh, it's really all about these, how these, how these women, uh, how these sisters fit into the world and how and how, you know, through our, through a contemporary lens, I guess.